Welcome to the uh, 2013 National GIS Day. Yeah, I just want, it's a, there's a lot of passion in this room and excitement. I see uh, a lot of the maps and a lot of the gr great things and uh, passion that uh, some of the teams here in uh, tech, Technology Services and the City of Denver in collaboration uh, uh, have put a lot of this stuff together, a lot of work that goes into it, and uh, I just want to welcome you today. Um, very excited, we have a lot of things going on today. Uh, we have our own Kimberly Burke uh, and her band will be playing. We have a lot of exciting uh, events uh, for today. We have a scavenger hunt. Uh, we have Met My Denver. So you want to stick around for some of those things. And I've heard, rumor has it, there's food. Is that true? That's true. All right. So I'm going to start by introducing our um, CIO, our um, Frank Daldone, and uh, he will kick things off. Frank? Hi, everybody, and welcome. Um, this is an international uh, celebration that goes on uh, for GIS one day out of the year. And, and I originally, when I, when I heard about it, I was like, well, why would we be celebrating a, a technology? I mean, as, and being in technology for 20 years, I mean, I obviously have a lot of passion about it, but I'm like, why, why this specifically? And as I got to really understand what GIS was over time, uh, I began to realize why we do it. Um, GIS is kind of what allows us to uh, build out our, our, our infrastructure, our roads, our communities, our bridges, all of these things that allow us as a society to continue on and grow. Uh, but it also helps us on our social infrastructure as well. Uh, you can do analysis work with regards to you know, homeless, uh, homelessness, um, education, uh, disease control. Uh, and this is being done around the world and it's this progression that has taken place over many, many years. And really what the celebration is, is not necessarily about the technology, but about the people. The people that have dedicated their lives, their careers, and put all their energy into making this possible. Because really this technology is really just an extension of who we are as people and has allowed us to evolve uh, far more quickly than we would have without it. It was kind of if you equate it back to the days when we used to you know, dig with our hands before there were shovels if you want to look at it that way. So, and it actually a very, and a very powerful uh, thing to think about, uh, the tsunami hit Japan uh, a couple of years ago and uh, the Fukushima uh, nuclear reactor began to release radiation. And when it did that, um, they were trying to make predictions on which way the radiation was going. And it was this technology and actually one of the vendors that's here today, Esri, it was actually their software that they were able to get in there. These people were able to get together and figure out and track where the radiation was going and save tens of thousands of lives. So that's why we celebrate this internationally every year. It's very important. Um, so with that said, I'd like to introduce uh, the clerk and recorder, Deborah Johnson, to come up here and say a few words. And Good morning. Um, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, our intent today is to showcase what the city and county of Denver does with its GIS, or how they call it, the geographic information systems. Um, but also, too, to create an awareness. I mean, like Frank stated, I mean, what we can do with this information and how it really improves our lives overall. Um, but I just, um, I'm a very visual person, so I'm very thankful for GIS, you know. Um, GIS really puts the story in a very pictorial way for me to understand. And if, sometimes if it hadn't been for those pictures, I would have some troubles in understanding actually what my staff does. So anyway, I'm here on behalf of the mayor's office um, and myself. Um, I would like to read the proclamation declaring um, this whole week um, GIS week or geography week. Um, so bear with me here. Whereas 
geographic information systems are essential to city business operation and service delivery, and whereas Geographic Awareness Week promotes geographic literacy in schools and showcases real-world GIS applications to the public, and whereas Geography Graph Geographic Awareness Week is thoroughly modern celebration of geography awareness around the globe meant to involve, inspire, ignite through the demonstration of geographic information systems technology and real world applications that are making a difference in our society. Geographic information is an important part of the city's public geography geography awareness, and whereas the city and county of Denver is committed to expanding GIS to support business operations and continue the delivery of city services. And now, therefore, I, Michael B. Hancock, Mayor of the City and County of Denver, Colorado, by virtue of the authority invested in me, do hereby officially proclaim November 18th to the 20th, 2013, to be known as Geographic Information Week. Now, I think the best maps are, of course, the clerk and recorder's maps, and I just wanted to make sure you all went. They're kind of in the back there, but they really are interesting in terms of showing some um, election information and also foreclosure information um, in the city. So enjoy the day. It's going to be fun, and uh, thank you very much. Okay, next we have um, Heather Henderson from Esri. Heather? Hello everyone, my name is Heather Henderson and I'm with Esri and I want to welcome you all to the 14th annual GIS Day. GIS Day started in 1999 and it's really started out as and remains a, a grassroots effort to celebrate the work that everybody's doing within GIS to solve real world problems and apply this technology to do so. So in, in keeping with today's theme of the past, present and future of GIS, I'll give you a little bit of history of, of Esri. So, Esri was uh, formed in, founded and formed in 1969 by Jack and Laura Dangerman. They still own the company today. Uh, they're based in Redlands, California. And the company started more out as a consulting business to help land planners with environmental problems. Well, then into the late 70s and 80s, Esri said, well, you know, we need to take this manual mapping process and automate it. So they developed the first uh, GIS in 1982. And also in 1982, we had our first user conference, and we had 16 people show up. And for those of you that have been to the user conference today, we have almost 14,000 people that come. So you can see that the field of GIS has grown both at Esri and in our user community. Um, so today, where are we at today? Um, IT really has undergone so many changes, and Esri continues to respond to that. We're all very familiar with mobile devices and with faster computing. So we're really making this transition to what we call web GIS, okay? So that's where we're at today. We'll continue to involve our software, and you know, our users come first. So we're really excited that everyone's here today. And I, a round of applause for everyone who put this event together. So this is really awesome. All right, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.